Today, I'm gonna to talk about three chicken breeds I don't like and why. Let's go. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. I'm going to talk about three chicken breeds that I don't like and I'm going to tell you why. The reason is strictly based on personality. I'm going to tell you the characteristics of each breed. All these breeds do lay they do lay eggs perfectly fine. It's that's not the reason I don't like them. Okay, I'm going to start with number 1 and it's the Bard Rock. To me, the Bard Rocks seem so mean. They're kind of timid to people and they're not like noisy vocally. They kind of just hang around, but then they just attack. They're so mean. Even if you get smaller ones, they just seem so fierce and mean to the other chickens. And for that reason, I don't like them because I like peace and quiet on my homestead with amongst all the animals. I don't want to see any little meanies that are starting trouble and hurting the other chickens. So that's the reason Bard, Lock, Bard Rocks are on my list of a breed I personally don't like. The second breed are Leghorns. Now, leghorns are very efficient egg layers. You know, if you go ratio of the food they eat to the amount of eggs they lay, leghorns are like right up there at the top. But again, that's not the reason I don't like them. I don't like them for their personality. Uh, they're not a mean chicken like the Bard Rock. Leghorns are, you know, they're not bullies, they're not mean, but what I find is they're just too flighty for me. They're just like nervous, like kind of a flighty breed. And if you let them out, they're just like, almost like very um, disobedient, naughty little hens. Like they'll do something you don't want them to do and you'll kind of shoo them away and they're just like, no. And they'll like go right back and do it again. And then, and when you shoo them away, they're just, they're just so overreactive and flighty about it. And I personally, I just don't like that. Again, I like just calm. So if you have a few of those leghorns and you're just, you know, they're kind of a lot to handle. So that's the reason I don't like leghorns. The third breed that I don't like are Rhode Island Reds. Again, great egg layers. You know, they are really good great lay egg layers. And they're like big enough you could use those for a dual purpose breed meaning you could eat them, the roosters, you know, and then the hens are egg layers. They are, the roosters of those Rhode Island Reds are so mean. Rhode Island Red roosters typically are like just very mean roosters and they're like big enough to where they're like, like a strong boxer you could think of or an MMA rooster. They're just big and strong and they can really beat the other ones up good. So that's what I don't like about the roosters. They're like just too aggressive and mean. The hens on the other hand, the th reason I don't like them is because I find of all the breeds, those Rhode Island Reds will get egg bound eventually. I don't find it happens in the first two years, maybe three years. But beyond that, like every single Rhode Island Red I've ever owned eventually got egg bound and died. And it's just so frustrating when you're trying to feed them everything they need, you know, let them free range and everything. And that, and that is just like such a stressful thing to deal with as an egg bound hen. So of all the breeds I've ever had, I'm trying to think if I've ever had a breed that's gotten egg bound except Rhode Island Reds. And I don't think I have. So that is the reason I don't particularly like the Rhode Island Red Chickens. I'm thinking personally, they're just so popular that they're very inbred over the years and they're just like not as like hearty and good over time of just being so overbred and inbred. And that might be the problem with the Rhode Island Reds that I have gotten. So maybe somewhere, you know, if you're out in the country somewhere and you're just getting some good ones, you know, that aren't overbred and inbred. Maybe you're, you know, they're fantastic. But 
all the ones I've gotten, I've just not done well with them for that reason. All right, so just to balance out <laughs> the breeds I told you that I don't like, I'm going to tell you two breeds that I really like and that have worked well in my homestead. One is the Black Astralorb. I swear, that is like my favorite breed. They are such, such, such nice chickens. If you are a beginner and you want to start out and you don't know what breed to choose, let me assure you, you will not be disappointed with the Black Astralorbs. They're like gentle, you know, they're sweet. You can like pick them up. They're just so, so nice. They seem like they get along with everybody and just mind their own business, do their own thing. They lay nice brown eggs. They're just awesome. So the Black Astralorp has got to be my number one chicken breed that I love. The second one is a Buff Orpington. They are so beautiful. They're the big poofy gold chickens. And like, they're not going to be, you know, as way up top as the number one egg layers and those breeds. Of course, any chicken that's well cared for does lay eggs consistently. And so you don't have to worry about that if you choose the Buff Orpingtons. Their beauty and their sweet personality definitely like moves them up on the list of a great breed to get for your backyard chickens. Okay, so those two breeds are two breeds that are like so awesome and spectacular. And I think anybody that wants to give chickens a try would be so happy with both those breeds. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn more about chickens, you can click the link below and buy my book. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.